What is up, everybody? How's it going? It's Monday. That means it's time for your weekly episode of Surviving Rocklahoma. I'm glad each and every one of you are joining me in the comments. I see you there now. Please sound off in the comments. Let me know that I'm sounding good and coming through nice and clear. I know that uh, everybody's must be going stir crazy at the moment as we are all snowed in, if you are in the area. Uh, northeastern Oklahoma is under several inches Giggity. of snow. No, not that kind. It's not the 80s. I'm talking about that blizzard that's been going on, and it is absolutely nuts out there. And uh, hopefully everyone is bundling up so that you don't freeze yours off. But I digress. It is absolutely cold and miserable. We're going to be talking a little bit about that um, here in the middle of the show. We've also got a couple of other things going on, especially if you have a band page, or a project page, promotions page, or anything social media related. I've got some information that you really need to be aware of. We're going to be talking about that here in a couple of minutes as well. I'm also going to tell you how you can play at Rocklahoma 2024. That's right, the September festival that we all know and love. I'm still getting used to saying September, that Labor Day weekend. Rocklahoma will be back, and this submission box has opened. And I'll let you know how you can get your EPK, your demo seen and heard by, by the people that really need to see it in order for you to be able to play. So stay tuned in the show for that. We're also going to show you um, some images from a festival past as they've got some big news coming up as well. It's already been announced. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how you can be playing at Rock the Equinox. We also got some music. I've got two from the Rock Box, in addition to somebody that's going to be playing this Friday night, Harakiri. I can't wait to uh, show you all these uh, these bits, these tracks that I've stumbled across that's come across my desk, and I want to see what you all think about them. These have never been played here on this show, so these are two debuts. And I can't wait to uh, spin those tracks for you all. I see you all in the comments. How's it going? And it's also good that you all are chiming off in the comments because I'm going to tell you how you can win a sick prize to another festival that we are going to be working in a more official capacity this year. But all of that comes up after we pay homage to the sponsors. First up, we've got DEB Concerts, who answers the question, what do you want to do with your life? I want to rock! And Rocky will be doing at Rocklahoma Labor Day weekend. I can't wait to get into that. But before then, February, I believe the 15th, was it? In February... He's got a uh, stellar concert for his first time at the Vanguard in Tulsa. He's going to be bringing Lita Ford, the r iconic s songstress, rock and roll. I don't know what you, what the appropriate word would be for this woman. She's very, very influential. Anyone who's been around in the 80s and the hair metal days absolutely knows who Lita Ford is. Also, it will be Last in Line, the band that's made up of several artists from multiple iconic bands. One of those, of course, is uh, one of the members from Dio. I see in the comments, David, need even in death official back in here. Our boy Patrick Kennison plays guitar for Lita. No way, dude, that's freaking awesome. Make sure that you send us an email so I got a music track to feature from you all. It's good to hear from you, David. I see Justin, Christy, a.k.a. Misfit, is in the comments. What is up, Nicole, from Stigler Printing? 
you should see that banner that they dropped on their Facebook page. Oh my gosh, it makes my heart swell just thinking about it. Uh, we see the band She Hates Me Not, whom we featured a couple of weeks ago, is joining us on YouTube. Remember, folks, we are streaming across platforms. So make sure that you like, follow, and subscribe us wherever you are watching or listening to us. And going back to uh, what we were referring to, make sure that you follow DEB Concerts so that you get all of the news, like what I'm going to be talking about here in just a couple of minutes. Also, before we get there, I want to uh, give a shout out to another Rocklahoma partner. That's AYS Rentals at your service rentals, your pr- official purveyors of the Poo Shacks for Rocklahoma and the only place I know of where you can rent your own portable restroom for your campsite for that festival weekend. Not only Rocklahoma, but born and raised as well. So make sure that you follow and subscribe at your service rentals on Facebook because we've worked with them for like the last five, six years giving away uh, services and rentals through at your service rentals. We'll have those coming up in the coming months. But I'm telling you all, visit that website. Make sure that you get yours this year for the festival that you had planned to attend in prior Oklahoma. Don't be like that dude in the middle of the night, stuck in line, about to poop his pants because he can't. He's uh, stuck in line. Hey, dude, what are you doing over there? Yeah, well, that's because it didn't call AYS Rentals. Also, want to give a shout out to Rockavet who has a simple mission and that is giving veterans the music or the medicine that is music and we've been working with them for several years they've got some huge things going on and i've got a big prize that from Rockavet and i'm not going to be giving it away tonight this is actually going to be a long running promotion because It is just that good of a prize, and we're going to run this one weekly up through May. So make sure that you watch Surviving Rocklahoma each and every week so you can figure out how to qualify for this prize. And actually, I tell you what, folks, um, this prize right here, let me make sure that I've got my information correct. I don't want to tell you wrong. Where did it go? All right, so uh, for Rockavet here we're going to do the actual giveaway in May, but we have two sets of tickets to a veteran or active duty uh, service member for Rock the River Two here in Tahlequah. Right, uh, huge thanks to Townsend and crew of Sparrowhawk Village for putting this package together for Rockavet for the second annual Rock the River. Going to be here in Tahlequah. Now, to qualify for this giveaway, it's simple. At the end of the show, I'm going to pick somebody who uses the correct hashtag And that will be your entry. And we will take entries every week until May when we give uh, do this giveaway. We might do a little something special for it as we announce the winners. And I see Jason Polk is in the comments. Jason, if I left anything out, feel free to drop that there in the comments and fill in any blanks or correct anything I might have mistaken. Uh... But, yes, uh, Rockavet, we are so happy to partner with them. I can't wait. They've got big things going on, and I can't wait to see what is next for them as they bring those veterans the medicine that is music. Now, also want to give a shout-out to the Rocklahoma bitches. Now, these girls bring a great time no matter where they go, 
And we all know Christy and Kendra from Rocklahoma, but we see them at the local venues all the time. And the Rocklahoma bitches just loves to support this rural Oklahoma music community. That's the ROK that we put we uh, put in our name, Rock, uh, yeah, rural Oklahoma music, and uh, the Rocklahoma bitches are there in full force and i see kendra in the comments right now yes can't wait to see you friday now also the big old bus who is always be bringing a busload of debauchery every rocklahoma but they've also expanded in this past year and they have uh, brought the, the setup to Rock the River and Rock the Equinox. And I hear that they have some other plans in the works as well. So make sure you look up the big old bus on Facebook. Give them a like and a share because sharing is caring. And uh, just wait till you see what they've got coming up next. But that does it for our sponsors, folks. Remember, if you would like to sponsor the show, please shoot us an email, survivingrocklahoma at gmail.com. We'd love to partner and work with you. But with all of those bills paid, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to kick off the show in the same fashion we do each and every week, and that is to crack open a cold one. So whatever it is you're drinking, smoking on, or whatever... I tell you what, let's hold them in the air, and uh, don't forget this week's Cheers is brought to you by Prior Liquors, Wines, and Spirits in Prior, Oklahoma, a proud sponsor of all of the events going on in the Rocklahoma campgrounds and this show. So uh, be sure to give some love to the purveyor of the sauce that keeps, or the yeah, I done messed that one up. <laughs> prior, li uh, prior Liquors, Wines, and Spirits, they're the folks that keeps me sauced. And this one's for you all. Cheers. All righty, folks. What are you sipping on? Drop it down in there in the comments. I'm trying something a little different this week. I'm kind of enjoying it. I'd like to hear from you all what all you are Sipping on. Christy's got some water. <laughs> I'll trade an RB koozie for a big old buzz koozie, Kendra says. Let's let's get our comments up here on the screen. Uh, there we go. I think that'll get it. Chat box and boom. Alrighty. So with that being said, folks, let's go ahead and break on into the show. Now, as you know, we are in the middle of snowstorm 2024, the first winter weather incident that we've got of the year. And I'm telling you guys, it is, it's colder than a penguin's ball sack. I mean, it is it's extremely cold out there, y'all. Um, Please bring those animals inside. If you love your pet, don't leave it out there in the sub-zero temperatures. And I mean it. It is going to bottom out tonight. Uh, I think we're gonna, we might hit below zero, depending if you uh, factor in the wind chill. And let's go ahead and take a look at that weather right now. Uh, as we're seeing tonight, we got one degree. In the Tulsa area, there's also a wind chill advisory. 12 mile an hour winds, 24% chance of snow. We've got some, slow, uh, some clouds this evening that'll give way to mainly clear uh, skies overnight. Tomorrow, it's going to jump up a little bit to 25, 3% chance of snow. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be the good thaw days. Those will be should be the day that hopefully... We're going to see some thawing out in time for the festivities coming in on Friday. It's going to be cold, but at least it's not going to be snowing or raining or anything. So that will be a blessing in itself because I am ready to partay on Friday. 
But with that being said, folks, please remember to take all of the precautions necessary so that your pipes don't freeze. If you haven't already, if you live in a brick house, go around the outside, check those vents, and uh, you know, just do your due diligence. Save yourself some money. Don't be like me, because I've uh, I've ran into that a couple of years past. We we're getting through so far, so good. No bus pipes, no. Uh, uh, nothing that uh, I could have avoided. <laughs> we uh, serviced the heater right before the cold snap hit. So uh, fortunately, that didn't cut out right in the middle of everything we've got going on right now. Also, folks, if you are responsible for a Facebook page or you have a project or something that's got a Facebook page, I, let me tell you, there are scams going on right now. And this is something that you have to be careful about, folks, because what they want is your page. Let me see if I can pull up an example of exactly what hap what's going on. You, what you might get is a direct message to your Facebook page and it's saying that your account is being deactivated or whatever the case. I shared something on my personal page and echoed that to Facebook. Here you go. Here's an example of what I received. And it's a DM saying that your page is scheduled for permanent deletion due to posts that infringed and all of that other stuff. Now, there's several red flags. Anytime you get these... And these are what I want you to look out for. One, who is sending it? You see how it's a guest there? That's not a Facebook thing. There's also no profile picture, very suspect. Now, if you look at the link, don't ever click on these links whenever you get them. Look at it, and if it looks like a bunch of gibberish, chances are that that's what we call a phishing page, and that's something that they aren't going to be, um, they're not going to like cyber hackers like you see on TV in that they're going to take control immediately. What they're going to do is they're going to gain access to your stuff and then they're just going to start listening to all of the data that you put in. And then eventually they'll spring the trap because they'll have all that information or there it's a social engineering ploy because they want to get control of not only your page, but your account as well and if they do that they can hijack your facebook page and do a lot of damage i've seen a lot of bands in years past succumb to this i've also had some good friends that have succumbed to this as well and family members too so once again folks if you are responsible for a page or you have you own a facebook page and you get a direct message from a guest or somebody claiming that your page is going to be deactivated or penalized and they've got a link for you to click on, that is most likely bogus. Facebook always does all of those things to, um, they, uh, they do all of these things to get your page. So with that being said, folks, uh, we are also going to move on. We are really cooking here. Actually, I tell you what, let me see. Uh, we're going to tell you right after, uh, we're going to tell you how to put in to play Rocklahoma 2024. But before we tell you this, we are going to uh, play somebody who submitted to have their music played here on the podcast. That's right. This next band rocked the box. They sent an email to survivingrocklahoma at gmail, and I absolutely loved their track, and I want to play it for you all. Folks, this is Almost Guilty with Her Sabotage.
And that was Almost Guilty with Her Sabotage. Absolutely, I love that one. Powerful, powerful track. You can find them on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Spotify, wherever you get your music. Make sure you check them out. And if you holler at them, make sure that you uh, tell them that you heard from them. Heard of them from Surviving Rock, Oklahoma. We want to thank Almost Guilty for reaching out and uh, submitting to the Rock Box. Remember, if you would like your music played right here on the podcast, Surviving Rock, Oklahoma at gmail.com. Now, now that's for this podcast. Remember, folks, we while we are the official podcast of Rock, Oklahoma, we don't book. For Rocklahoma, the the music that we play here is not in any way tied to the music festival. Other than I reach out to the bands and sometimes they let me play their music, and that's about the extent of my involvement with anybody that plays a Rocklahoma stage. Now, with that said, our wonderful sponsor, DEB Concerts. They do have a stage inside the Roadhouse at Rocklahoma, and they have opened up their submission line. So if you would like to play in the Roadhouse at the Rocklahoma 2024, courtesy of DEB Concerts, here is how you submit your music bands. Rock submissions. This is going to be for approximately a 40-minute set. That's that's not set in stone. It all depends on schedule, if we're dodging tornadoes or whatever the case may be. Remember, guys, this is not a, this is also not a paid gig. That you're you're going to play the stage, but they'll get you in for the day. They'll feed you. They might even throw a dr- little drinky poo at you after you finish rocking the fans. You rock in the tent inside the roadhouse. Now, if you would like a chance to play Rocklahoma two th- two th- 2024 on the DEB concert stage inside the roadhouse, you all you have to do is get your EPK together and send it to DEB Concerts at cox.net once again that's deb concerts at c-o-x dot n-e-t so that is how you submit to play rock Oklahoma. don't send your stuff to me if you do i'm just going to feature it right here on the podcast and hopefully you get a bunch of new fans but that's not going to put you in to play the festival those of you who are have been uh, messaging me and asking me how you can submit your music to play the festival, this is how you do it. Once again, send your EPK, your your media and all of that stuff to DEB Concerts at Cox.net. You know what, folks? Uh, speaking of, you know, we had such a great uh, submission. To the rock box, we had not one but two that we're going to feature this week, and then I'm going to show you, give you something to look at. But in the meantime, folks, uh, here is another one. Now we're going to amp it up. I want to get you all excited. You need some of that punk attitude. You all loved that punk track that we played last week with the wicked drums. So I tell you what, here's another one to get your blood pumping. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's time for a street fight. And uh, I don't want to hear no complaints.
And that was Street Fight with No Complaints. Absolutely love that track. Man, it's just that full throttle, firing on all cylinders. And uh, I don't know how the drummer is able to walk after playing a couple of songs like that, man. I'm just sure his legs are just jello by the time he gets up, man. Absolutely loved it. And uh, once again, folks, if you'd like your music featured right here on the podcast, Surviving Rock, Oklahoma, that's Surviving Rock, Oklahoma at gmail.com. Now, we've been talking a little bit about Rock the River, which is the next festival coming up here in our area. But we've also got another festival that we like to cover it's I know it's a I know it's a little early to be talking about, you know, uh, the end of September, but just like DEB concerts taking submissions for Rocklahoma 2024, it is now almost time to submit your music for Rock the Equinox 2024, the free festival in at Lake John Wells in Stigler, Oklahoma. Free camping, free concert, free everything. All the only thing you got to pay for is the food trucks and uh, or whatever supplies you want to. You forget to bring from home and have to run down to Walmart. You know you do it. We all do. And uh, I swear, every time I go camping, I practically buy enough stuff to go uh, almost a whole new set. So it's pretty ridiculous. So hopefully everybody is prepared. Uh, Hey, Brett is in the comments asking uh, anyone know if Adam is making the trip to Key West this year. Uh, Brent, unfortunately, um, we are not making the trip to Key West, Florida this week. Um, A couple of factors came into play. One, uh, I've been having my hearing issues. Uh, Two, we, uh, we didn't hear back in time for us to put any coverage together or actually make the trip to Florida. So, um... And not to mention the blizzard going on. So um, we weren't able to uh, schedule it this year. And we probably wouldn't have even been able to make it if we did. But uh, next year we are going to try our damnedest to get to Key West, Florida for uh, Rock Island. Just like we did last year. Now... Uh, We do have another festival that we are going to be attending this year, and I've got to finalize everything, get everything together before I make the formal announcement, but here in a couple of months, we're going to be looking at uh, our road trip 2024 alongside Photography by Angel Lee. Now, speaking of... Uh, Angel had actually dropped her photos from Rock the Equinox this past year, and like a lot of us, we've had uh, we've had some te- uh, equipment issues and technical issues, but we ha- hold ourselves at a standard that we we just if it's not up to our caliber, caliber we're not going to put it out until. It's ready, and these stunning images are ready. Now, I'm going to start with the thing that we all like to see. We're going to try to find the photos of ourselves. Look at this crew. I tell you what, they're not freezing cold. It was absolutely beautiful weather this uh, this past year at Rock the Equinox 2000. And 24, and I want everyone to give lots of love to our dear friend Lori, who is a valued part of the crew. It's a a whole big team that puts this whole thing together. And um, I also understand that the team could use some prayers for and some healing wishes. We're not going to go into everything, but. Uh, that whole crew's got some stuff going on and uh, they could use some prayers as well. Now, I also want to uh, feature 
the amazing bands that played. Now, this is just day one from Rock the Equinox 2023. And this is Travis Bond who put on an amazing set. And it's just, I mean... They've got an eclectic group of musicians in their band, and they've just got all t- types of infusions that goes into their music. And I absolutely love everything that uh, Travis Bond and the Rebel Souls do. They put on an amazing show, and uh, definitely reflected in those amazing images by photography by Angel Lee. Also, a huge shout-out to our friends in Fist of Rage who put on a great show, too. And uh, huge props to Paulette, who's in multiple bands, currently touring and working with Dime Store Riot when they're not playing with Fist of Rage. So she's got an absolutely jam-packed schedule. Huge lot of love to Brax. He's always so much fun in concert. Now, also want to give uh, give some light to this young band who has played, at, I believe, every Rock the Equinox, starting when they were just in high school. They even played, uh, I believe, their graduation. If if the story is correct, I'm talking about the boys in The Destination. You really need to check them out on Facebook if you haven't already. Great, great group of musicians. A lot of fun. And very humble, down-to-earth kids. Uh, let's not forget War Pony. We featured him here on the podcast just a few weeks ago. And a native band. I love it. And we've also got some skin of uh, sin of sin and scar. Excuse me guys, so sorry for botching that sin and scar. They were a lot of fun. And they are uh, there are local boys. But yes, that is our images from uh, photography by Angel Lee. Thank you so much, Angel, for joining me in my coverage of these festivals. I could not ask for a better business partner than uh, photography by Angel Lee. Remember, folks, if you need some event photography, wedding photography, there's senior pictures coming up. There's all kinds of reasons for you need to get some professional headshots. Make sure that you uh, holler at photography by Angel Lee. Now, that was her coverage of Rock the Equinox 2023. And the reason I'm showing it to you right now is because this Saturday you can submit to play Rock the Equinox 2024. And they've got some uh, big bands that they are lining up as we speak. They were very excited. I can't say who, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be one to remember for sure. So if you would like your band to play Rock the Equinox, the free festival in Lake John Wells at, in Stigler, Oklahoma, be following the Rock the Equinox page because Saturday she's going to tell you how to put your band in to play that festival. Now, we've also got something big, something so... Uh, amazing coming up this friday now it's it, it's just so weird i'm i'm still trying to find ways to wrap my head around what is actually happening and what this is is some amazing people my good friend from shelter in place tyler greasy as well as his wife india reached out to me a couple of months ago when uh, I got my, well, I will say Thanksgiving. Uh, They reached out several months ago before I got my cochlear implant surgery. 
and she had learned that I'm going to be responsible for some copay on these medical expenses that's associated with getting the surgery to have my implant put in as well as the equipment and all of that other stuff, which that all carries additional out of pocket costs, which anyone who's had um, major surgeries, you kind of, you know how that works with your insurance. So the great part about it is my insurance did cover um, almost all of the, the $140,000 procedure. Now, um, I've still got a little bit of a copay, but it, um, she they reached out and offered to throw this benefit for me, and it is turning out to be an amazing rock party, rock family party that we everybody's coming together, and it's so beautiful. Um, it's uh, it's my cup runneth over. That's all I can say. I'm just beyond blessed to have the friends and fan base and the community that I exist in that comes together to help uh, people when uh, when they're in need, whether they ask for it or not. <laughs> um, several bands are going to be playing this festival on Friday, including Sabretooth, Shelter in Place, Infall, and Harakiri. Uh Doxy was on the bill. However, I did speak with one of the members today, and I believe that they're not going to be able to be there uh, due to scheduling conflicts that are outside of their um, their control, which is totally fine. But uh, it's going to be an amazing time. We're going to have a lot of rock family. There's going to be some amazing merchandise. Um memorabilia, art, and all of this other stuff, a silent auction that has formed. Now, remember, folks, um, I don't have my hands on the steering wheel. This is all being done by some amazing people, and I can't thank each and every one of you enough. Uh, those who have contributed, those who have donated, those who have uh, bought tickets or um just going to go participate in that silent auction. I can't wait to uh, see each and every one of you guys this Friday at the Shrine. Uh, this is going to be a benefit, but uh, it's going to be Sabretooth, Shelter in Place, Infall, and Harakiri at the Shrine. I can't wait. Um, I see you folks in the comments that are just as excited as I am. And I tell you what... Let's go ahead and break off uh, a little a taste of one of the bands you're going to be seeing this Friday. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Harakiri with Betrayal of the Heart.
up that one part <sighs> that was my boys in harakiri with betrayal of the heart absolutely love these guys they're so much fun to be around and you're going to see them this friday at the shrine in tulsa along with in fall shelter in place and saber tooth a bunch of bands that uh, we proudly feature here on the podcast regularly and as well as all of our friends in the local music community. Remember, uh, for those asking who, how to get involved with this benefit, I will humbly direct you to Tyler and India Greasy as they uh, uh, are the ones who are handling the benefit. They've, they've put the whole thing together and done all of this stuff with a lot of, uh, contributions from our friends and Rocklahoma family. We I appreciate each and every one of you all for what a, whatever it is that you've done. We've got some unbelievable things that's been donated, and uh, it just makes my heart swell every time I read one of these posts or see some of these other developments. It's uh, the bit one of the biggest things that's ever been done in my honor in my life so it's it's truly um it's it's very much appreciated with that being said folks uh we are rounding out the show as we've said uh, make sure you are staying warm and uh, don't push don't try to be tough don't try to you know tough it out and say oh it's not that cold if uh don't push your body if Limit the amount of time that you're outside. Pay attention to those warning signs. Stay warm. Take care of those pets. Bring them inside. Don't leave them outside. Um, because they, uh, there's, excuse me, getting a couple of messages here. Uh, sorry about that. And we've got a couple of other uh, reminders as well. Um, for those of you who've got Facebook pages or uh manage them be aware of the phishing scams that are going on if you're looking to submit to play rocklahoma 2024 mm-hmm. head on over to the deb concerts one of our proud sponsors and always answering that question of what do you want to do with your life I want to rock. yes he does also giving a huge shout out to ays rentals And all of our other folks that we work with, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you folks who tune into this live stream. Uh, This podcast is something I love to do, and it's because of you all tuning in that I continue to do this. Also, if you would like your music featured here on Surviving Rocklahoma, Shoot me an email, survivingrocklahoma at gmail.com. If you're playing locally, include that. I'd like to put you on our calendar, share your flyers, and bring you a crowd so everybody can see that uh, passion that you have as you bring it to a stage. However you're listening to the podcast, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Those numbers matter. And... DEB Concerts, AYS Rentals, and Rock of It. Now, here's what I was... I got all flustered because my slides got messed up. But uh, it is time to give you the key word. If you would like to be entered for this contest, you're going to have to drop this key word. Now, remember, folks... Before you enter this keyword, one, 
This is for veterans and active servicemen. All right. Uh, this prize is going to be two sets of passes to Rock the River 2024, courtesy of uh, Rockavet. Now, we're going to do these keywords every week and we'll draw a winner in May. This week's keyword is hashtag courage. Hashtag courage. Drop it right here in the comments. We will pick us a winner. And that person will have their name put in with our other qualifiers for this prize. I don't know. I'm going to make it through Rocklahoma this year, says Scott Bear. Uh oh. Partner in crime. Well, we hope to see you there, Scott. So remember, uh, all of our veterans and active servicemen, first responders, drop me a hashtag courage. Now, what you can do here, folks, if you are not a veteran, if you are not an active serviceman, you can tag one. Tag one so that they have a chance to enter to win. But we are going to be picking our winner here in a couple of seconds. Uh, that is hashtag courage from our veterans and active servicemen. And remember, folks, we are across platforms. I've got some folks watching on YouTube as well. And Ryan Hef Stevens. Ryan Hef Stevens, you have qualified. You have been entered to win that one of those two packs of Rock the River tickets. Jason Polk can give you the details of what you're exactly entered to win. Be, keep watching this show, though, folks, and make sure that you tag your veterans and active servicemen, friends and family and everyone anytime we go live this Next couple of months, all the way up through May, as we will take all of our qualifiers and we will draw a winner for some Rock the River passes. Congratulations once again to Rock Hef Stevens, our qualifier this week for that drawing, a courtesy of Rock Avet. Also, guys, a huge shout-out to Rocklahoma Bitches. Thank you for your continued support, not only of this page, this podcast, but the entire Rocklahoma community and the local rock music scene. You can find Christy and Kendra at just about any live music event, and uh, we absolutely love you, ladies. Also want to give a huge shout-out to the Big Old Bus who's bringing that busload of debauchery to not only Rocklahoma, but all the other music festivals that we are covering. Now, before we go on next week, folks, remember, or, yeah, before we conclude this week's show, folks, um, remember this Friday at the Shrine, we're going to be having a party, and I want to see each and every one of you there. I can't wait. Also, this Saturday is your opportunity to submit for Rock the Equinox 2024. And lastly, uh, coming up in uh, probably in the next couple of weeks, I will be announcing our destination for our road trip 2025, or excuse me, 2024. We have set our sights on a destination, and I am just awaiting for confirmation. And once I have that, I will know what we will, what capacity we will be there, and I will announce uh, where Angel and I are going to be traveling this year. So make sure that you stay tuned to the podcast. I hope to see everybody this weekend. But as always, folks, please stay on the positive side of life. And until we see each other next time, rock on.